Hello, Hyro and the rest of the Space and Nature Aruba group and the rest of Aruba also. Uh, this is Edward Chung. I'm here right now in Newport, Oregon, which is on the Pacific Ocean. You can see the ocean behind me in the window. Uh, we are here, my whole family is here in Oregon this week for to view the solar eclipse, the great American solar eclipse, which will be taking place on August 21st uh, next week, August 21st of 2017. So this will occur um, across the United States. It will be a path of totality uh, running across the United States, starting in the state I am in right now in Oregon, all the way through to South Carolina. Uh, we're traveling around looking at the sites and the state and eventually ending up in Madras, Oregon, where we will camp out and stay overnight and look at the eclipse there. So for all of you in Aruba that wanna see, uh, participate in this eclipse, make sure that you have some specialized equipment. So either it means those special eclipse glasses uh, using very dark film, or you can build yourself a pinhole projector or even better, a binocular projector. And that's what I've done here in this location. Here you see the projection of the sun right now on this white card. So during the eclipse, this projection will gradually get smaller and smaller until it will be in totality. And here you see my projector. It, it basically consists of a pair of binoculars. So the equipment you need is pretty simple to build this. Um, the advantage of a binocular projector is you get a very big, bright and beautiful image. Uh, so you can see it without having to build a box camera. Anyway, here are the components. You need a pair of binoculars. The bigger they are, the brighter the image will be. A tripod to hold it and some cardboard. So the first piece of cardboard is here. It forms a shadow, so you have at least some darkness so you can uh, project onto the piece of paper. Then you need a projection screen, just a piece of paper here, uh, and then you can line up the projector, your binocular. So I'm gonna take this apart so you can see what I've done here. So here is the um, binocular mounted onto my tripod. I did this in a very simple manner. I have a clip that mounts into the tripod. So I attach this clip with a bolt to my tripod. I added some black sticky tape to make sure it would not move around. And this is then mounted into my tripod. So when you get ready to align it, one thing you want to look for is just the image see right there the bright image if you see that bright image you know you're approximately lined up so with this binocular you get two images two projections as you see there but then of course with the shade you block out one of them and then you get a single projection so of course the big warning is do not look at the Sun do not look at the Sun through the binoculars repeat do not look at the Sun through the binoculars but you can look at the reflection, the projection, and be absolutely safe. Not a problem to be looking at the projection. Okay, this is Edward Chung. If you have any questions, just find me on Facebook and ask me a question. We will be in Madras, and I will hope to transmit live for Madras if we have an internet connection. Hope you have a good eclipse viewing.